So we're going to build this book starting from the front of the book down. And the key, key thing to do is to get your materials organized before you start. Pages should be placed from the front of the book down. And the signature, sheet, <coughs> the signature sheets should be placed on the table with the shiny side up and the fold facing outward. The reason for leaving the fold facing out is that's how we're going to load it in the machine. We're going to load it really in the opposite way that we've done in the past, where the signature fold has been in this corner. We now want to put the fold in the outside. And you'll see why that's important in a minute. So the first page is always a little bit more complicated because we're adding an end leaf in the title page. So our picture that's going to show through the window, that's going to go face down in the machine. Then we'll add our end leaf and our first photo of the book. Added those and we'll put that on top. As I go through the book, I'm giving each page a little tap. So, beginning ones there again, the title photograph, and in the first signature was our end leaf and our title photo. And just an important side note whenever you put an end leaf in, never assume you've got it right because you probably have it in the wrong direction. I always like to physically open it and give it a moment of thought, make sure that that is the direction you want it open. It's so easy to make a book with the end leaf backwards and then you basically start over at that point and waste the book. So always check the end leaf folds in the right direction. So from here, we would load our next photos and a small point that makes the assembly go very, a little bit faster. If you don't fully open the signature, uh, it'll assemble faster and actually come out a little, a little neater. You don't have to poke it back closed. The photo that's on top, that's going to be the next photo in sequence, would go straight in, as I just did. The photo on the next photo slides straight into the signature. Next photo in the stack, flip over and slide in. Now when the book is created and finally turned over and read, that'll be the next one, next one, et cetera, et cetera. So you have the right order. So that sequence, they can be rough like this, and then drop it in the press and give it a few taps. Uh, here's a panoramic, again, slide across, first photo, turn over, slide in, next photo, now when it's open, we'll have the right for it. Drop it into the machine, tap again. And another important note, when I'm handling this, this, this signature, I'm lifting it, dropping it in, but of course I'm not squeezing it. You don't, you don't want to grab this, because that would tack it down. And even if you've tried to square it up, you still you want to square it in the machine. So I'm handling it gently so that it doesn't stick ahead of time. I'm just putting those in lightly. I'm more or less picking it up from underneath and then tossing it in the machine. And at this point, you can give it even a little toss if you like, and it will help even push the sheets into the edge, into the corner. Slide in, turn over, drop into the machine. Over, 
next one, and leave. Drop in the jeans, tap, 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 tap. And then uh, that's good to go. If you had quite a thick book, we could uh, give us a little squeeze down like so, but it shouldn't be necessary. Close and so we have our book. And the advantage to this technique now are going to be these nice, nice smooth, smooth edges. Makes sense, and that the edges are now were justified. These outer edges that we care about being lined up were justified against the edges of the machine. The other benefit are the nice tight lines between the signatures, small gaps. So there you go. Good luck with your books, and uh, let us know if you have any trouble. Thank you.